Hey, Mark Ignisi here again in the back room at Norman's Rare Guitars. And once again, it is time for Guitar of the Day. A uh, couple small things. First off, uh, my Cleveland Indians are in the World Series. This is a big sports year for Cleveland. We're, we're all rooting for Cleveland here. Uh, we got, what, the Dodgers and the Cubs. I'm almost hoping that the, that the Cubs win, just so I don't have to root against L.A., and that I can make all those guys at Chicago Music Exchange cry when the Tribe knock them down in the World Series. But, hey, that's on a different note. Browns are still completely defeated, haven't won a single game yet. Hey, two out of three ain't bad. Also, today, uh, Tom Petty's birthday. Uh, my favorite American rock and roll star of all time, Tom Petty. It's his birthday today. It's also uh, probably my favorite songwriter of all time. Uh, rock star, just there, number two, right behind Keith Richards. But he's a close second. Uh, in honor of Tom's birthday, I got a really great guitar today. Come on back. This thing's from 1967. His original Rickenbacker 360 12 string and maple glow. Just like the one Tom plays. Just like the one that Tom got stolen, actually, a few years ago. I don't know if you guys remember that. They were rehearsing uh, over at Culver Studio. Someone went in and stole a whole bunch of guitars, including his, uh, his blonde Rick 12 string. Um, we got him back uh, after some time. Um, but this one is in great shape, man. Original maple glow finish. Uh, on the back of these, you'll always see this is always kind of sexy. The checkerboard binding. We love checkerboard binding here. You got the uh, crushed pearl shark fin inlays that go all the way the full width across. Those kind of change size uh, as you get through the 60s. Bound neck and, of course, two of Rickenbacker's famous toaster pickups. Why are they called toasters? Kind of look like a freaking toaster, man. I don't know about you. I kind of want to stick some bread in there. Uh, these things are great, man. They have a sound that is completely their own. Uh, all you got to do is plug it into an amp, and it's instant petty, instant birds, instant beetles. But it's Tom's birthday. We're going to focus on Tom today. Let's go out front, plug this thing in, see what kind of sounds we get out of it. All right, we're out front here. We've got the 1967 Rickenbacker 36012 and original Maple Glow finish. We've got it going through a stock 410 Hot Rod DeVille, all the EQs at noon. Just a little bit of reverb. Let's start up here uh, on the neck toaster pickup. Let's see what kind of sounds we can get out of that guy. <laughs> into the middle it's going to be a little combination of these two toasters together see what kind of sounds that's going to give us here Let's go down into the bridge. Let's just hear uh, this bridge toaster by itself. See what kind of sounds that thing's going to give us.
have it from 1967. It's a Rickenbacker 360 12 string, original maple glow finish, uh, and two toaster pickups. It's instant Tom Petty, man. All you gotta do is plug it into an amp. Hey, check me out on Instagram at, at Mark Agnesi. Check out the store at, at Norman's Rare Guitars. And check this and the rest of these guitars out online at normansrareguitars.com. And we will see you guys tomorrow for one uh, more guitar. And we still got two more guitar of the days. Oh, it's Flat Top Friday tomorrow. We'll see you guys tomorrow for Flat Top Friday. Peace. All right. You guys ready? <laughs> <laughs> Only Nick's not hiding. Rick pushed the couch over on Mark. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Are you gonna go down, Nick, or no? You can't. I'm not going anywhere, no. Okay. <laughs> All right, and... One, two, three. Happy birthday, Tom! The production levels are staggering. <laughs> Mark, I'm going to push Mark over! Ah! All right.